Hi, welcome to Phoenix Curations. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing, hitting the like button. Um, we are resellers online. This mm -hmm. is Will, I'm Renee, and uh, we love it. Mostly we do it for fun and uh, a little bit of profit, but mostly just for fun. Yeah, we're having a good time doing this. Absolutely. So today what we were going to talk about was, um, can you thrift the trends? Everybody just went through all of the trends and the things that came down the runway. Can you go to the bins? Can you go to the thrift store and find things that are on trend? And so we did that and we found a lot of stuff. In fact, we sold some of it before we could even get to this video. Um, but we do have some things to show you and we'll kind of talk a little bit about what the trend is and why it fits the trend. Mm -hmm. Um, and know that this is by no means all we could find. There's tons and tons of stuff. So yeah. and what you find is always different. There's always something to look at and yes. you never know what you're going to find. So, you know, let's get into it. Let's do it. All right. So I guess maybe one of the first things that we can look at is a, a spell out shirt from Tommy Hilfiger athletic department. This is, um, it's a, it's a good color. It has a spell out across the front. Um, it has little logos everywhere. You know, these, are, we could comp this shirt, but we'll, yeah. um, hopefully we'll get something close to about $20 for this. So these are a lot of fun. Yeah, they did, a lot. the logo mini has been for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. maybe three, and it just hangs on and streetwear, you know, has been around for a long time. Um, but the Spell Tommy stuff is still out there. People still want it. Marigold, yeah. Tangerine, mm -hmm. and Classic Blue are what's on trend for colors. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. Um, hats, all kinds of hats, funky hats, different hats. This is just a beach hat. Hopefully I have it on right. Um, but it is made yeah, all of it. ribbon and... It is or no? Yeah, it's all okay. right. Okay. It's made of ribbon and crochet. There's some crochet that's kind of worked into the ribbon. And um, it's great because you can just wad it up in your beach bag and it just pops right back out because there's no real structure to it. And uh, I find hats like this all of the time here in the bins. I just sold a black and white one that was all made of ribbon and it was beautiful. Uh, it was nice and comfortable. All right, so uh, something else that we found. This is a Lily Pulitzer. That is Top. great. Yeah, it has the bell sleeves. Bell sleeves. It's a size 12. It has little buttons. These buttons are actually roses on the front. It has the, I don't know, what do you call this fabric? It has a crochet type look, but it's definitely not. It's more like, it's like eyelet, yeah. um, but it's a lot more open than most eyelet. But this is kind of a different piece for Lily. And if you've ever worn Lily pieces, which you probably mm, haven't, have they are very, very tailored. So the difference between a six and an eight is a difference. There's no, you know, it's going to fit a six or an eight. It's not going to be like, oh, I could be a six or eight. Um, they're very tailored and made to fit. And that's why people love her. Okay. So next, um, I have an Alice and Olivia dress. And it is all crochet. It's black and white. It has the peplum, which that short-waisted peplum mm -hmm. is really in style. I know it's hard to see um, things that are long here. We'll have yeah. to work on how to do that. But uh, the way that I got this was we took some of the um, lower uh, resale value items that we had that were nice, that were trendy, and we took them to a local consignment shop and uh got credit and so that's where this came from and this is a beautiful dress i believe that i saw some fashion bloggers wearing it but i'm not really great at recognizing them but when i looked it up there were an awful lot of people um wearing this in photos online mm -hmm. and most of these things came from the bins didn't they Other yeah than, most of them things like that but most of yeah. these things came from the bins so uh, yeah so the bins, if you remember us talking before mm -hmm. about the bins, there's a place between Goodwill and the landfill where things go if they have too many items or if they have items they couldn't sell. Those items go to the bins. People yeah. sort through it by, by the pound. Uh, what doesn't get picked up, uh, most of that just goes to the landfill. Yeah. This is like two trends. 
So there's the yeah the floral the big um, floral print and I think these are kind of abstract roses mm -hmm. which are big and you can't see because it's kind of wrinkled but this has like got layers yeah. and tears in it mm -hmm. and that's that's a big deal right now. It is. So, and also is that plus size? I think that it is. It's sixteen rosin alley. Yep. So I did take this one to the. Um, the seamstress to have it mended because I don't have a ton of time for that and I'm not the best uh, seamstress I can do simple things but one of these straps here things were coming apart so well, she charged me a couple dollars for that I didn't pay much for the dress it just makes it more sellable and uh, it gets a second life yeah. some of those repairs are worth the effort I think so, and mm -hmm. and we love the seamstress yeah. in the Calgary we work with. They're local local folks. They're good people. They don't charge us a ton, and and we keep them with regular business. Yeah. So and we do like to recycle things. So putting the extra effort into fixing things, if it's not too much effort, we like to do that. Yeah, we try. So we definitely keeps, try. Yeah, keeps things going. If we didn't and have and and fill. <laughs> yeah, if we didn't have jobs that we had to work to pay our bills we could probably we could do. rehab everything yeah we could. um but right now this doesn't pay the bills so it's just fun and a little extra money so i have here this crochet hat um and it is really tightly woven but it has this nice detail yeah. in, through the center and the thing about it that i liked was you can wear it like this which is a regular hat or you can pull it down like a bucket hat yeah. which Bucket hats and crochet yeah. are mm -hmm. really on trend right now. So when I saw it, I grabbed it. Oh, my right. hair is going to be a mess by the time we're done. It is. <laughs> so this is a little denim skirt. These are these are in style. This is by what? Britannia. Yeah, this is definitely vintage. Yes. Yeah. Um, someone has added fabric they to have, this. Yeah. Uh, this came from a local thrift store. It's a charity thrift mm -hmm. store. And um, I was just shopping down there, but especially midi and maxi denim are on trend, and people are still loving the vintage, you know, the structured cotton. And uh, I just really liked the acid wash on that one. Yeah, acid wash. I've seen a lot of that on the runways. Mm hmm. No. I remember when acid wash and stoned wash it came out. Thing, oh right? my god. Yeah, that everybody was... had to have. Acid yes, because it was oh, so yeah. different, you know, yeah. so far away from the standard Levi. We had, we had dark blue, light blue, white, black. That was probably about it. And yeah, came out yeah. with the different washes and the distressing and all that. And now uh, it's a whole different world. I actually heard the way that that distressed jean mm -hmm. started was this lady shot her jeans with a shotgun. And that's how she started distressing them, and it became a thing. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. It was a great story. Uh, sounds like <laughs> interesting, yeah. Yeah, it's a little legend lore. Yeah. <laughs> a little urban legend, maybe. Yeah, really. Yeah. So these I um, got, uh, again, with the oh, Alice and Olivia dress. Mm -hmm. They were a trade. They're not in perfect shape, but they are Trip NYC. They are animal print. They are on trend. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not sure if these are, oh, these are women's because they say size 11. Um, but they have the, you know, I need to work on them a little bit because the, it has styles all this fabric transfer. But it just has some cool detail added to it. And uh, they're very stretchy. And they have some details on the pockets and um, I don't know. I just liked them. Yeah, that's some fun street wear. Yeah, I just gonna get all this little fabric fuzz off there, and and those will be great. They won't sell for a lot, but somebody's gonna have a lot of fun with those. There they are. Ooh, neon pink. Yeah, those highlighter colors were all over yeah, the runway. They are. Miley. Millie. I Millie. Think. Yeah, Millie. Millie. Sorry. That's okay. And sheer fabrics, sheer too. Sheer fabrics, really? Yes. <coughs> so I'm not exactly sure how I would style this. I would have to work it out a little bit. Definitely going to have to work something mm -hmm. under it. Uh, I'm just not exactly sure what. You can go for a basic cami. Um, but I'm wondering if there's something better. If someone could think of some way or someone knows how to style this, then please leave a comment. We'd love to hear. Yeah. Uh, some designers are putting uh, sheer fabrics out for men as well. So, yes, the whole... Uh, gender thing is going away and men and women are wearing each other's clothes and I think it's fantastic. We've talked before about how men haven't had a lot of options as far as nice fabrics mm -hmm. and um, 
you know, clothes have been pretty plain and um, so it, it's nice. Yeah. It, why, why can't men wear silk and cashmere? You should. A social phenomenon. It's a whole different conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, hey. So this um, this came from a Goodwill store. Mm -hmm. I can't remember why I was there. I don't know if I donated stuff. But anyway, in any event, I got trapped there for a little while waiting for something. Because if you have any amount of time in between things, you should go to the thrift store, of mm -hmm. course. Thanks. And this, <laughs> this is an Oscar de la Renta. Um, pink label. I think it cost a dollar ninety nine. If it was half price or forty percent off, it might have been. But it's silk and um, you know silk chemise uh, tops and nightwear is the new outerwear. So I uh, picked her up. She had a little stain on her. I got that out, and uh, I'm not really afraid to wash mm -hmm. delicate fabrics. Uh, occasionally, I ruin something, but um, yeah. in general, it saves a lot of dry cleaning bills. It does. <laughs> <coughs> through a big bag these are definitely have been seen around uh, nylon banana republic the only thing that would be missing from this is a chain yeah yeah definitely so that that bag i was kind of shocked that nobody was picking that up i think they didn't know what it was and there's so many mm -hmm. reusable shopping bags and tote bags in the bins but I did feel it, and it felt nice. And when I looked at it, I said, oh, it's Banana Republic, yeah. so of course it's nice. And, uh, you know, what do they say? The bigger the bag, the smaller the butt. So everybody's <laughs> out there getting big bags right now, ginormous bags. So yeah. this is just right at the edge of big. But, uh, yeah, definitely so, a part of the trends. Well, you never know what you're going to find when you go thrifting, um, especially at the bins. Uh, there's vintage, there's things that... You know, we, we've never seen before <laughs> animal print slap animal print pants with a big six on the side yeah there uh, you go you know, <laughs> that, was a, that was a new one to me uh, so it, it's a lot of fun to go and see what you can find you know nothing we find is ever going to probably be on the runway so we're just trying to fit in what we have with with what's going on in the fashion world and it's, it's you know no matter what era it came from and people are wearing a lot of things from different different eras now, 70s, 60s, 50s, it's, you know, it's all there. Yeah, definitely. Like, my shirt, for instance, is very, what, 80s? Yeah, Def Leppard. <laughs> Def Leppard, that's a, you know, a hairband, yeah. And I got this from Poshmark. I got it from the Bin Pickers, so shout out to the Bin Pickers. If yeah. you don't know who they are, I know they don't know who I am, but they're awesome. And Gina and Michelle are just, like, the most down-to-earth people ever. Um, they do a lot of stuff on YouTube and they sell on eBay and they support their whole family with five children. They've been doing that for 18 years. So, um, they're awesome anyway. That's, that's a goal of ours too, is to be supporting ourselves with this, yes. with this fun habit. So that's awesome. good. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back again next week with another video. If you have any comments or likes or any anything you'd like to point out to us that we did wrong even we're always here to learn so uh, leave a comment down below and uh, we'll get back to you awesome thanks guys <laughs>